Hi, it's Miss Chris from the Free Library Springfield Township here to bring you another science experiment today. We are going to do magic milk. You may have seen this done before, but we're going to talk about milk in all kinds of varieties and have some firework explosions on the surface. If you don't know, milk is made of all kinds of things. It is made of water, it is made of vitamins, minerals, proteins, and actually a little bit of fat. So what we've got today and what you need to do is you need to find whatever kind of milk products you might have in the fridge. Today I have whole milk, skim milk, heavy whipped cream, almond milk, and oat milk. So we're going to see how this magic milk works for different types of products. And a lot of it's going to depend upon the fat that's in these products. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take and we've poured a little bit in the bottom of each of these containers. We're going to take and give it all of them a little bit of food coloring so that we're gonna see some fireworks explosion of color. So we're just gonna give them all a little bit of color. I'll come back with some of the blue and the green. Because we don't wanna miss out on the blue and the green. Oat milk isn't even taking the blue and the green real well. Ooh, look at the non-fat milk take the... Okay, so now that we have our food coloring, you're gonna take a Q-tip, you're gonna put it in a little bit of dish detergent, and we're gonna put it down in the surface, and you're gonna hold it for about 15 seconds. And you're gonna watch it go. Okay. I'm gonna start the non-fat milk, see what it does while the whole milk goes. Ooh. Oh, look at that one still going. So the idea about this is that we are changing the surface tension of the milk. And we're changing the surface tension because the dish detergent actually, oh, look at this. The dish detergent actually has two properties in it that is the um, hydrophilic, which, <laughs> the hydrophilic, which repels water, and the hydrophobic, which attracts fat. Mm -hmm. Heavy whipped cream's not, not gonna go. Okay, let's try the almond milk. See if the almond milk will work. The almond milk's going a little bit. Milk by itself has positive and negative. Oh, look at that go. Molecules, they attract and repel each other so that in itself, it's a stable, Oh, don't get my sleeve in there. It's a stable material except for the surface and because the, no, 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 oh, wait. Can I get that to go? No? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Not really. Hmm. Okay. Now look what the whole milk did. The non-fat milk is still going. So milk alone, the molecules are great because they have a push and a pull on their own. Except for the top surface where it is a push down which creates tension. 
And so the dish detergent, like I said, is disrupting the tension of the surface. Um, in what we're doing is we are actually trying to attract the, the water and we're trying to repel the water and attract the fat. And so would have thought that the fat in the whole milk would have worked better than the non-fat milk, but it kind of stalled. Where the non-fat milk is still giving us swirls. You can go back and try these again and see if you can reactivate them again. Let's see if we can make the whole milk go again. Because it started. Oh. So basically your fat molecules are trying to find other fat molecules in your milk. And it'll go until it's all done searching. That's better. It's funny how the skim milk will still go. Whoops. See if we can get it to give us another one. Its original swirl, which was right there, is still going. But the heavy whipped cream which should have the largest fat content, it did not. It didn't want to go at all. No. No. Hmm. Well, that's science for you. Sometimes what you expect just doesn't work. And that's why it's an experiment. Oh, there's going to go a little bit. There it starts to go some. The other thing that you need to do is when you set up this experiment, you do need to let your milk products sit and settle. Oh, there we got the almond milk to go some. But as you would expect, because this is fat searching and attracting other fat molecules, you would expect something that would be the highest fat being the heavy whipping cream to work the best. When actually for us, I would say the one that worked the best probably is the non-fat milk. So try this at home. You can use any kind of product like you see that I have here, whatever kind of milk that you know your parents can spare for an experiment. Uh, try it, try it over again, take a Q-tip, try it again, because if I were to take a Q-tip again and try these again, you'll get another explosion of color. And the other thing that I can recommend that you do is try putting a cookie cutter in the center of your milk and do food coloring inside of it and then food coloring around that. And then you can have an explosion inside the cookie cutter and then around it and see what that does and containing the milk inside and then containing the milk outside and the patterns that you can make that way. So this is Chris from the Free Library Springfield Township. Thanks for being with us today and we'll look forward to seeing you again. Bye.